Hi, this is Dr. Lowe, and I'll be going over how to take the intestinal permeability test from Genova today. Um, if you open up the kit, you'll see, as usual, a um, requisition form. You want to fill it out accordingly. You want to do the test collection to be done on a Monday to Friday. Um, make sure it's all filled out with information. Um, your insurance information and the date of your collection. Most importantly, after you collected all the urine after six hours, you want to fill out the volume, total volume, before you actually take the samples out of it. There's a really good instruction sheet, uh, which is where I get most of the information from. Um, for three days before you take the test, you want to avoid taking any aspirin, anti-inflammatory, Maalox that has aluminum or uh, magnesium in it. Um, so that's for three days because that could affect your um, test. And then four hours before your test or the day before, you want to freeze this little packet of uh, freeze gel. Um, and then what will happen is then you want to take out everything. First, um, you eat dinner the night before and you um, afterwards I would suggest you don't eat anything. And the next morning you wake up and you will have a fasting urine. So the first urine you take, you want to pee into, you can pee into this container, you can open it up. Um, and if somehow the night before you had um, woken up in the middle of the night to pee, I would suggest you saving that also and mix it together, uh, refrigerate it. Um, and then the next morning, mix it with your first urine and then you would shake it and then you would pipette, pour it into here and then you would pipette it out um, and pour it into um, this tube um, and then you would uh, and you would put it inside this bag make sure it's tightly screwed in and you put it inside this bag put your name on it refrigerate it and then you will go ahead and drink this lactulose and for two hours after you drink the lactulose you don't want to eat anything and for the rest of the six hours that you're collecting you don't want to eat anything that has fruits fruit juices, jams, anything that has fru uh, fructose in it, or any dairy products, or anything chocolate, or honey, mushrooms, and beans, like legumes, including peanuts, so no peanut butter, and celery, and also chewing gum, because te they tend to have xylitol or mannitol. Um, one piece I want to add is that um, you actually, for 30, uh, 72 hours, I didn't mention, 72 hours along with the um, uh, aspirin and all the other medicine, you don't want to have anything with xylitol, mannitol. Again, that means uh, typically that would be in um, uh, mouthwash and also uh, chewing gum. So that's for 72 hours. But also for, for the, uh, after two hours of drinking the lactulose, when you can start eating, don't eat any mannitol, xylitol, or fructose, chocolate, and dairy. So now, after you had um, drink the lactulose, you start collecting urine into this cup and you pour it into this for six hours. Um, and then after that, you shake it uh, at least 10 times before you uh, pour it into here. Oh, well, you want to record how many milliliters in total and you put it in the requisition f uh, form. And then you would go ahead and collect it, pour it in here, collect it into this purple tube, and you'll put it along with this um, into the biohazard bag. Then you would put it inside this bag along with the frozen gel and then you uh, would go ahead and put it inside the FedEx bag and then you can drop it into a FedEx collecting location, not a drop box, or you can call FedEx to come pick it up. And that's it.